everyone, Fiona here. Hope you're all doing well. I just wanted to do a flip through of this lovely fairy journal that I've just finished making. And in the next video, I will do a tutorial of how I made this. And it is a trifold journal. It's um, made from three envelopes. And I'll show you the envelopes that I use. They have these ones and they are C5 size. So essentially they are to fit um, when you fold an A4 sheet of paper in half, um, they fit inside these envelopes. So that's actually what they're made for. So I thought um, because my pages were um my pages are double you know double a4 size and made to fold in half but they would fit nicely onto these envelopes um so the ones that i've got are the craft color and they've got the um the little flap like this but you can buy them like this um this color or white and it, with the flap like this which in some ways it's easier for making pockets you just cut down this side here and put your pocket in but I managed to adapt these to make pockets um, I just wanted the craft color and these were the only ones that I could get in the craft color so that's why I've used those so um, so this is um, an Australian size C5 so if you're in the US you've probably got a, a, an envelope that um, is made for when you fold um, your letter size paper in half so you could use um, the same thing because uh, my printables you can um, print onto US letter size paper as well okay so I just put that in there <laughs> yep so in the next video I'll show you how um, how I did all that so I've used the Forest Fairies kit from in my Etsy shop and I'll put the link to that below. So I've just used the basic kit that has the pages and it just has a couple of extra pages of ephemera, pockets and tags. But then there is another kit, an add-on, which has around about 16 pages of ephemera. Um, but I didn't use, I only used a couple of elements from that one. So I'll link both those below um, if you're interested in having a look. But it's beautiful. It's got such beautiful um, imagery on it. So as I said, it's a trifold journal. On the front here, I've just got um, one of the pages. And then um, this is from the ephemera kit and it says forest fairy and I've just backed it onto some cream cardstock and inked around it and then I've cut out one of the little words you get a sheet of fairy words um, included and I've resized them down they actually come bigger than this but I um, when I went to print, I resized my page down to, I think it was 8 by 10. It was either 8 by 10 or 5 by 7. I think it was 8 by 10, so they printed out a lot smaller. And I've just cut out all the little words and put them in this little envelope. And this, this little envelope, I have a tutorial video um, somewhere on my channel. So if you have a look, you should be able to find that of how to make these cute little envelopes. So I've just put them in there and this says hand in hand with fairy grace will we sing and bless this place so that's that one and it just has a um, a um, what do you call it a string button closure I've used um, an eyelet there to attach the circle and then I've just wrapped my string around like this and so it opens up and then inside the front cover I've created this pocket so it's just the envelope with um, I've put some cardstock over and then the printable paper so it's made the pocket nice and 
sturdy there. And then inside the pocket, I've just made a journal card with a page that I've cut down. And you can write on the back there. And this is one of the pages as well. And then this is just a little piece of writing paper that is printable also from um, one of my printable writing sets that are in my Etsy shop. You get four sheets of paper and a matching envelope. So I'll link that one below as well in case you're interested. That just goes in there. And this is the journal section here. And actually you can... Um, you can actually close it this way if you want to, like this, or you can do it this way and have it like this. It's sort of, it'll, it doesn't matter, it goes both ways, but I've just done it this way for now. So this is the journal sold into the spine and I've added some fabric to the spine there to strengthen it. And this one is printed onto coffee dyed paper, so it's a bit more vintagey and grungy because I wanted it to be coffee dyed on the back so I just printed it onto the paper. These other ones are printed directly onto white paper so the images are a lot brighter. And this is a little label from the ephemera kit and I've glued on the word believe there. So the actual journal bit is fairly plain. I've just added a couple of pockets. This is one of the library pockets which has a little castle there and then two little journey cards and I've backed those with coffee dyed paper so you can write on the back. Everything's been inked around the edges. And then we've got a couple of coffee dyed papers. I've got a floating, um, a floating library pocket here which has a couple of little tags in it, journaling cards and these all come with the papers so that just goes on there like that oops, didn't put that on very well did I? if I can get it on, it just goes on there like that and then a few blank pages till we get to the middle and I've used these the slanting side pockets that come in the kit and they're also printed onto coffee stained paper and then the two tags that come with those Then I believe it's all coffee stained paper and that is the back of the journal. And then we've got this beautiful page here. I didn't want to cover her up so I didn't put a pocket there. But if you were making it you could put a, maybe a side pocket or a, a belly band or something in there. But I've got um, the spines are not um, very big so... Um, it's not going to hold a lot, but it will hold a little bit more than what's there. Um, you want to allow it for the journal to expand anyway if you add things to the journal. So, but I've put a pocket in here. This is one of the, I cut down one of the papers here. Um, this is from a printable. I just made a blank tag there and another tag there from one of the blank printable pages or the background papers. And that's also one of the background papers there. So they just go in there like that. And then on our last page here, oh, it's our second last page, we've got this beautiful image. And then we've got some more writing paper and another large journal card there and you can add photos and anything else you want to in these pockets and then we close it up 
and that is the back and that's one of the pages again and you've got the envelope and then I've covered it with some cream cardstock and then the paper over the top and then one of the little labels with the word magic and then this just wraps around a couple of times and then just wrap it around there and that's your closure okay so this this is available in my Etsy shop so I will also link this below and in the next video I will show you how I made this journal thanks for watching bye bye